Hi, and welcome to the next video in the Dimensions Math Digital Quick Start Video Guide. In this video, I will show you how to find your Dimensions Math assessments in Agilastic and assign them to your class. I'm logged in as a teacher at the dashboard, and the first step is to find the playlist for my grade. I'll go to the menu on the left-hand side, go down to Playlist, and choose the Singapore Math Collection. This will show me uh, several Singapore math playlists. Let's say that I'm teaching third grade. I'm going to choose, choose third grade and I'll see workbook A and B. My class is doing uh, workbook A, so I'm going to click on the playlist. When you click on the playlist, you'll see each chapter with the titles of the chapters, chapter one, numbers to 10,000, addition and subtraction, part one and part two, and so on. And within each chapter, test A and test B. If you want to see what the tests look like, you can click the preview button and you'll see what the students will see. If this is the right playlist that I want to use, I click use this. That saves the playlist to my playlist on the menu. After you've saved the playlist to my playlist, you don't have to go to the playlist library anymore. You can work on the uh, work on assigning and seeing your data right here. If you're going to use both the A and B books, you can go back to the playlist library, choose the B book, click use this, and now I have two playlists in the A book and the B book in my playlist, and I can switch between them by clicking switch. Now that I have my playlist set up, I'm ready to assign the assessments to my students. Let's say we're working on chapter one, and I want to assign chapter one test A. Over here, there's a button that says assign. Click the assign button. Choose your class that you want to assign, assign the assessment to or you can choose just individual students. You can choose an open date and a closed date, which is when it will be available for the students to work on. And you can open it automatically on the due date. So say you wanted to give it next Tuesday, you could have it automatically show up next Tuesday, or you can choose to open manually in class, which means that you will have to go in and open the assessment for the students to be able to work on it. In override test settings, you have a lot of choices of how to set up your test. There are anti-cheating features such as shuffle questions and shuffle answers, um, requiring a password, um, not allowing the students to see their scores right away, as well as an ability to show a calculator. There are other videos about all of these features and how to use them on our YouTube channel. So once I have set up my assessment, then I click assign. Once I click Assign, the assignment will show up on my Assignments tab. Here is my Dimensions Math 3A Chapter 1 Test Day. When your students log into Edgelastic, they will see the assignment that you just assigned on their dashboard, and they simply click Start Assignment to work on the test. The students will answer the questions. As the students are answering the questions, I'm going to go back to my teacher account and look in the Assignments tab. You'll see that I have Math 3A here. This is the one I just assigned. Tom has started. That was the student I was logged in as. And you'll see that it's showing in real time how Tom is doing. If the student got the answer correct, it's green. Incorrect is red and partially correct is yellow. If the question needs to be manually graded, it will be blue. In the next video, we'll go into more depth on the reports from the live class board and the other reports that you can get on student progress in Elastic.